good morning so if you're new to the channel to leave forget to leave a like comment down below and subscribe so today um we're gonna talk about voyager and they actually file a bankruptcy chapter 11 so i'm gonna break it down what chapter 11 bankruptcy means so people can actually understand it in a plain term so i'm gonna explain it so back some people get confused between chapter 7 and chapter 11 okay chapter 7 mean that you can't basically they're done okay chapter 7 any business that that basically file for chapter 7 that mean nobody can get their money out okay Chapter 11 is basically like a small term term bankruptcy that allowed the business to actually freeze like freeze accounts and basically stop creditors from actually trying to get their money back. That's what basically chapter 11 is, okay? It's a short term. It's basically like a shield that protects them from um, paying back the loans, okay? And that's basically it. So that basically, it, it, it still means that the business is still operational, but you're trying to figure out what to do and how to pay back their loans, okay? It basically showed them. So what's gonna happen with chapter eleven? Most people are like, what's gonna happen with chapter eleven? So for those people um, that know, probably let me break it down a little bit. Cryptocurrency and crypto uh, cryptocurrency is not a security, so it's not an investment. So for whoever investing that that invests in that platform, your investment is gone, okay? Because your cryptocurrency is not an investment; it's basically a risk under the SEC rule, okay? It's a risk. So I mean, the only person that might be able to get paid back is people that actually loan their money okay those people that invest in the company so if you invest in crypto your money is basically gone let's be honest that's basically chapter 11 mean okay it basically allow them to they're able to pay back their loans to their to people that actually uh, loan their money okay and guess what this this uh just 11 actually allowed them to actually start selling they can actually sell assets to pay back the loans, okay? They can sell assets trying to figure out how to manage the risk to not actually go fully bankrupt, okay? So what does that mean? They're gonna start selling bitcoins because I think I think um they, they basically filed for back um uh, for basically chapter eleven because you guys know the biggest the biggest hedge fund actually basically start freezing their account which is three hour head hedge fund, okay? So um they're basically claiming that um they're basically claiming that they're basically losing money they're losing money because you guys know bitcoin is the lowest lowest it's been in the whole entire year so almost twenty thousand right now okay so it's pretty bad for bitcoin at this moment and guess what's gonna happen it's gonna be bad for everybody okay for whoever invests in bitcoin if you it's time for you to actually start selling okay most people are like why should i sell those people like those uh platforms those big uh platforms guess what they're gonna happen they're gonna start selling their bitcoins okay they're basically gonna start selling bitcoins and other current the other cryptocurrency that actually try to basically find a way how to pay back um the employees trying to pay back their uh their loan shark they're trying to find a way how to pay back some type of loan okay what they're gonna do your assets such as bitcoin is gonna go down because they have over one billion to ten billion dollars in assets okay if you guys know, they basically they have one billion to ten billion. That's basically an estimate, but they can have way more than that. So, one billion or ten billion, whatever uh, crypto they have in their possession. That's that's why they froze most of their accounts. Okay, so whatever they have in their assets right now is basically they're gonna start selling it to basically pay back their creditors. And people are like, oh, don't mean I can get my money back. You can't get your money back. Okay, um, the only people that can recover it. It's banks <laughs> only banks are basically a, a, a loan shark that probably well known can get their money back you can't you can't you can't you can't basically claim that in your text write-off you can't claim that there's no rule in regulation when it comes to like I think other like that's what I'm saying it's different between cryptocurrency there's no regulation it doesn't actually protect you you know you're not you're not you're not an investors okay you know, you know, you're not basically an investor. You're basically someone who just taking risk. Okay, it's a gamble. So I think like back in like like January, Columbus was forced to come down that uh that um that if you file for bankruptcy, you guys can tell it was basically pre one. Okay, um I think Columbus was actually uh forced to actually tell that if the exchange actually went bankrupt, basically your your user fund can be wrapped up, can be wrapped out too. So. It's a very sad business, so you can't get your money back. You can't claim for tax write-off. You can't, because basically, if people who loan them, 
a lot of money can't get their money right now. So what do you think if you invest two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, you can't get that money back? Because you basically, if you're lucky, you might be the last person getting paid. Might be or might not be. So it's very contagious to how much money they're able to pay back and how much they're able to sustain this uh, volatility actually going on right now. Um, I think crypto. I think Coinbase might be next. Coinbase might be next or crypto crypto could come. And I think Celsius might be next too to file for this chapter 11. You guys know inflation is happening all over the world right now. Inflation, the war. I think it basically started with this war between Ukraine and Russia, okay? To be honest, it was doing good till everything started going up. I live in California. The gas prices in California is basically almost seven seven dollars okay? Imagine, and then the minimum wage is $15 an hour. Imagine you actually paying seven dollars per gallon to actually basically go back back and forth from work. You have to invest. You don't have that much money back. People don't have a disposable income to actually invest in crypto right now. At this moment, people don't have. For example, I'm I'm a, I'm a high school. Um, I was forced to actually sell my uh, Dogecoin like two or three months ago because I have to find a way how to like not lose all of my money because I don't know if Dogecoin might come back again. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to start eating all of my investments. So I start, start taking some of my losses and start, you know, basically find a way I don't have to lose all of my money. So, like I say, it's a very, very bad thing. Okay. 900, basically they have $900 billion. Okay. This, the market of cryptocurrency is over almost a trillion dollars. Okay. And you guys know, you can't get your money back and don't forget Bitcoin went from 69,000 to $20,000. So it's a very bad a good investment it's not an investment uh, let me say it again crypto exchangers are not an investment okay it's a risk let me let me show you guys now let me show that let me let me, let me show you guys cryptocurrency cryptocurrency sec rule it is not look uh i see advice only complicated for user that the lab before there uh one see that they want investors with the risk of safeguarding those assets, okay? Uh, you will not, <laughs> it, they don't, they don't, they can't protect you, okay? They, they can't protect you. Uh, they, they don't protect you. So, like Elon Musk, who actually, um, basically, he, that's, that's, that's how I think, uh, Elon Musk getting sued for over, I think, $250 billion or $315 billion. There's nothing you can, they can do about it, even cryptocurrency, even the SEC can't do nothing about it. You can't sue them, okay? So, uh, it's a risk. Everybody knows that it's a risk that everyone's willing to take. But um, you only lost if you if you basically have small capital, okay? This is a small inside job, okay? There's people who works in there that have big investments. Those people that invest millions of dollars, they probably get out before you do. So, they basically have a, like a flare, a flare running before you do. So, um Hope you guys have a nice day, and I hope you guys stay, uh, know what's going to happen. So, see you guys later. Peace out.